Hello everyone and welcome back. And yes, before we begin, I am wearing the same hat and the same shirt as my last video. Like I've mentioned before, I am moving to Florida with my girlfriend in now just under a week. So we've been really busy getting everything ready for the move. Because of that, I decided to record a bunch of videos back to back. That way you guys didn't miss out on any of the content during our move. And just as a quick reminder, the Ace Fulton Deck giveaway is still going on. This video for the Ace Fulton Deck giveaway needs to get to 50 likes. So go ahead, share that video with your friends, get people to the channel, check out my Instagram because that is where I'm going to be announcing the giveaway winner. Today we're going to be talking about what is in my minimalist wallet. So for as long as I can remember, I have always been into super sleek and minimal wallets even before I got started in my minimalism journey. This wallet specifically is by Malcolm Fontier. This is his Mojito wallet. Now, I got this wallet close to 10 years ago. Ironically, he's working with The Minimalist, the duo from the podcast and the website and the, the Netflix documentary. He's now working with them. They've partnered together to create the Packed One Bag, which was another, another product in this line from 10 years ago. It's basically been making a big resurgence. So I'm super glad I was able to get one of these while I can because they're no longer available. I think Malcolm still has some in his like private collection that if you know him, you can get one. But I got this 10 years ago and I mean, it is still in such great condition. I mean, take a look at it. This wallet, you would not be able to tell that it's 10 years old. And I've used it pretty extensively. I mean, the Alaska is still like it's right out of the box. It's pretty incredible. Now I do fluctuate between two different wallets. One is the Mojito wallet, and the other is the Bellroy card sleeve or card pocket. So I know it doesn't seem very minimalistic to carry two wallets. I don't carry them every day. I actually just switch between both of them, which is saying a lot because I actually, I'm not even kidding, I have a crate. This whole crate is full of wallets. I'm not even kidding, hold on, let me hide some of this personal info. Everything in here, oh my, this stuff stuff falling out. These are all wallets. Growing up, I really enjoyed wallets. I used to collect them. I would buy a new wallet a week. It was that bad at times. I've been able to give a lot of them away, but I still have this whole entire case to go through. But these two are the ones I always seem to come back to. So with that said, let's take a look at what I keep inside. So let's start off with the wallet that I use most often. This is the Mojito wallet by Malcolm Fontier. It's a small, very slim black leather wallet with this really nice blue stitching. There were a few different color options, but this one was my favorite. You also have an elastic band here that keeps your card secure. You also have a little pouch on the back that you can keep cash in. That's just where I keep my house key. Opening it up, you'll see I just have a handful of cards here. We'll get into those in a second. And on the inside, you can see the Mojito branding. We could just go through these one at a time. First up, we've got my PayPal business debit card. For those of you who are into YouTube or if you do any sort of creative services, you know PayPal is a great way to charge and invoice your clients. And with having a business account, you actually get a cool debit card so you can get your funds immediately. Next up, we've just got my Chase debit card. Chase is the bank that I use here in New York City. I happen to have the Disney card. It's actually really sparkly. I like it a lot. <clears throat> In case you didn't know, I'm a huge Disney fanboy. So I like using this whenever I'm in Orlando or if I just happen to go to a Disney store because I do get money back and I get some discounts and some perks for those few times that I do use the card for superfluous purchases like that. Next up, we've got my one and only credit card. This is my Capital One Platinum card. This is a secured uh, credit card. It's used to rebuild your credit. When I was 17, I got into a lot of debt for no reason. I was really irresponsible with my money and this has helped me greatly increase my credit score and my spending habits. It's also a great card if you're just getting started and you want to start building your credit. Then next up, we've just got my health insurance card. That's it. <laughs> Not very exciting. After that, we've got my New York State ID. Look at that photo though. Ladies, I was actually blinking or sneezing in the photo. I don't remember what happened, but my eyes ended up being halfway closed and they would not let me retake the photo. No, what gives? But yeah, this is actually the old style of the New York ID. The new ones look something like this. 
But to be honest, I still prefer this old school look. And last, but certainly not least, you live in New York City, you need to get around, you need a Metro card. And this one, they usually have different things on the back. Metro cards are pretty much the only way to get around New York City. Um, trying to drive anywhere in Brooklyn or in Manhattan is terrible. Queens you can get around, the Bronx you can get around, but everywhere else you need a Metro card. So when I'm not using the Mojito wallet, I'm actually using the Bellroy card pocket. This wallet is really great because it's super slim. It's a uh, nice full grain leather and it has these nice big uh, brass zippers that keep everything nice and sealed and tucked away. I like this wallet because it's small, compact, it fits right in my front pocket, but it also is a zipper wallet. Now a lot of guys, they don't really like zipper wallets, I don't know why, but the card pocket is one of my favorites. On the inside it has a little bit more organization features. So you can see in addition to all the cards that you saw in the other wallet, there's actually a small cash pocket right here. I almost never carry cash, but it's nice to have that there. And it also fits my key, which is really nice. Also you can see it has this really nice detailed lining, which no one else sees, but I know that it's there and it just makes me incredibly happy. On the opposite side, you have this one little pocket. I also keep a uh, little coin in here for magic, I don't know. But um, you have this other little pocket and in there I just keep a photo of my late grandfather, Grandpa Dave, may you rest in peace. I miss you every day, buddy. So I carry you with me. Overall, this wallet is really good if you like to hold a little bit more than the average person and keep it all contained. There is a new version of this called the all weather or the all season card pocket. And I'm really interested in that. One, because it's not leather. I do enjoy this leather. I did get it before I was a vegetarian and now it doesn't seem very sustainable, but I'm not just gonna give it away or throw it away. This was a Christmas gift about four years ago, maybe three or four years ago, and it's broken in really nicely. I'm definitely gonna be holding on to this for the long term. So there you have it. That is what I keep in my minimalist wallet. There's something just about wallets that becomes a second part of you. I know it's not really healthy to give meaning to inanimate objects, but just like anyone's personal style, I think your wallet is an extension of you. And it's a great way to express yourself, especially for someone like me who wears pretty plain clothing. I know right now I've got a playlist live shirt on, but let's face it, half my wardrobe is Playlist Live t-shirts. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Thomas Hayden, and I make videos twice a week about minimalism and magic. My videos are posted every Monday and Wednesday, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when all the videos go live. Also, whether you're into magic or not, maybe you just like really nice decorative items and cool conversation pieces, I give away one deck of rare playing cards at the end of every one of my videos. So if you're interested in that, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Thomas Hayden for all the behind the scenes details and how you can get your hands on a free deck. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Thomas Hayden and as always, remain magical.